I see the queen has given you a long leash. Count Dooku. To Anakin Skywalker Dooku then accompanied Zygerian slaver, Commander Darts Dinar, and his forces as they moved into, Occupy, the Togruta colony of Kiros. Dooku then convinced the governor, Gupat Roshdi, to be taken to a, safe haven. Dooku and Zygerian Prime Minister Atai Malek then contacted him as he negotiated with General Kenobi. Dooku then ordered Dinar to bring Kenobi to him on his knees. Dooku and half of Sintel's kingdom then demanded the Zygerian queen, Miraj Sintel, kill Anakin Skywalker. When she refused, Dooku was asked to come to Zygeria by Prime Minister Malek. Sidia sent Dooku to ensure that the queen would carry out Skywalker's execution. Dooku then spoke with the queen and the prime minister about Skywalker and his friend's situation. Dooku was intrigued by her plan to enslave the Jedi, but Dooku's plan was to eradicate the Jedi. He also warned her that her power over Skywalker was an illusion, since he was once a Jedi. When the queen refused to allow Dooku to execute Skywalker, Malek saw her as unworthy of being queen, in which Dooku then force choked Sintel as Skywalker arrived. Dooku then fought Skywalker and ordered the royal guard to kill Skywalker for the queen's murder before he escaped. Dooku then contacted Keeper Agrus and ordered him to execute Kenobi and Captain Rex. Dooku later appeared through a hologram to Lux Bonteri in which he denied killing Mina Bonteri and ordered him killed for treason. 